So hi everyone, I am Dr. Krishna. I am a final year resident in neurosurgery at Sogangaram Hospital, Delhi. So I've, we have seen that you have uh, so many of you have asked so many questions regarding a multiple number of topics. So I will try to answer some of them for you today. So first let's talk about hands-on experience. Well, first of all, let me be clear, hands-on doesn't mean that when you join, you'll immediately going to OT and seeing surgeries or assisting surgeries like you will be doing brain tumors, that's not hands-on. First of all, you will be posted in the wards where you can learn about the basic things in neurosurgery, most important being GCS, how to see a patient, how to analyze a patient, how to see a pre-op case, post-op case, you'll have to learn about CT scan, MRI. You will also be given chances to go to the emergency where you'll have to see the uh, emergency cases, you have to analyze them, treat them, prepare them for surgery if necessary. So these are the things that you will be doing in the first year. Along with that, there will be basic ward work, uh, which includes stressing, removing brain, seeing the post-op down, and you will also have some ward procedures like lumbar puncture, lumbar drains. We also do tracheostomies in emergency, tracheostomy changes, RT tubes, catheters, these are basically the things that you do in first year. After this, if you have time, if you are free or after your duty is over and there is an emergency OT, you are most welcome to visit the OT and see the surgeries. Or anytime during the day you are free, you can come to the OT. Individual OT posting, uh, OT posting on a regular basis starts from the second year. First you are trained for a month or two under someone's supervision. Then uh, once everyone is comfortable that you are good enough to assist alone, you will be individually assisting all the cases. So the cases you get exposure here are starting from simple uh, spine cases, discs, spine fixations, spine tumors. You also have cranial cases like tumors, or you have uh, hydrocephalus, you also have pediatric cases, you also train in CV junction, you also have aneurysms. There are a wide variety of cases, so that will not be lacking. But initially, you will be assisting. By the end of sec uh, third year, especially when your exams are over for part one, you will be well enough trained that you will be able to do individual emergency cases like EVD or some craniotomies, if depending on your skill set. And as you become senior, this uh, individual cases will be given to you uh, on the consultant's discretion. So, as you become a senior a senior resident, your responsibility increases. You get to plan the surgery, you get to plan the incisions, do the craniotomy, expose the tumor, and sometimes, especially in the final year, you, get, you can do an individual major case also. So, other than our OT and board work, we also have classes uh, almost regularly and classes are presented by everyone and there is a moderator who is usually a consultant he moderates the class and gives inputs classes are there then there are case discussions uh, where you present a case you take a history examination and present as per like you know it's like a dnb exam and you can present a case and people will give you guidance on how to present during an exam <coughs> Other than that, there is also radiology discussions uh, routinely where we discuss uh, important and interesting MRIs and CT scans and uh, that's our academics. So the other question that we have been asked is about study leave or preparatory holidays. So DNP assist does not give you or grant you any study leave. However, we make sure that everyone gets sufficient leave before uh, the exam to prepare and we also help in preparing or if there, anyone has any doubt we always help out and finally the two other questions that we have one is about the hostel facilities so gangaram does have its own hostel facilities they are usually buildings which uh, they rent out and they charge as per the dnb uh, protocol for the hostel other than that, there are lots of uh, houses that you can rent nearby along with your friends or uh, you, you can have roommates or there are paying, or live as a paying guest. There is sufficient accommodation nearby that you won't be troubled. And uh, 
finally about the stipend the stipend is as again as per the dnb protocol and in accordance with the delhi state guidelines you can check it out online i have also seen that a lot of questions about other specialties in gangaram like ct gs plastic surgery medicine radiology so we are we are doing our best and we are trying to give you the answer to all your questions so stay tuned and please subscribe to our channel and we will be posting more on this